Hey everybody, this is Brody from Brody's Garage. Today is December 7th, 2023. This is episode 61. Hey everybody, how's it going? So uh, this is episode 61 and where we last left off in the previous episode, I took the car down to Huntington Beach to have it painted. Well, that was just the beginning of my problems it seemed as far as the paint job goes. Um, as it turns out, I've painted the car a total of three times now. Once in Huntington Beach uh, with uh, help from my friend Mitch Lanzini, uh, we had some problems with the first paint job. I had to come back home. I said, you know what, let me come down and I'll just do it myself. Um, so I went back, kind of sanded down our previous work, sprayed it myself there in his shop. Everything turned out pretty good except for the roof was just plagued with fish eyes. Um, so we had to halt the process. I brought the car home knowing that I was going to have to sand it back down and repaint at least the roof. Well, as I got to looking at the car more and more, I saw little things that were bugging me and I decided to fix those as well. So I scuffed the entire car down. Well, then I made another mistake. I, I actually was going to spray the car. And so I painted the base coat, the orange. I laid a couple coats of that. And then I had to leave to go away and do a show for a couple days. And mistakenly, stupidly, I thought I could just let the, the base coat sit, come back and scuff it down with like 800 or 1,000 and then put clear on top of that. Well, as it turns out, I, I was misinformed. I found out from some people in the industry that no, no, you don't want to sand your base coat like that and try to cover it with clear because the scratches will show through. So at that point, I knew that I had to go get some more Tangelo Pearl and spray at least a couple more coats of orange before I top coat it with, with clear. So time has gotten away from me. I finally got back to where I was able to work on the car. And last night I repainted the car here in the garage. So what I'm going to do now is first start by showing you what I did to prepare my garage to make it into a spray booth. Well, there it is, my friends, four coats of clear. I fought this paint job from the very get-go, and I'm still not done. My voice is tired and dry, you can tell. But I got four coats of House of Color clear on here, USC01. And I did it right here in the garage with my little trusty homemade do-it-yourself spray booth. There is plenty of trash in the paint, which Fingers crossed, I'll be able to color sand and buff out. <clears throat> I do have several runs. Let's see if we can find them all, but it's definitely a pretty healthy little sag right there. Some drips off there. Um, the biggest one, I think, is over here on the passenger side of the hood. By the way, I was able to mask this off in such a way that I sprayed the entire exterior first. Um, I jammed, of course, the color first, but then I cleared everything on the outside. Then I opened the door on the last coat after I did the exterior and just blasted a coat of clear in the jams. I'm gonna move very carefully over here. There's my uh, bumper filler panel. Definitely got a couple of drips right there. The biggest run 
you know, I think I kind of buried it. It was right there when I had the hood up for the first coat. Man, that thing just dripped right down the alongside of the cowl. But I think, I think I've actually done a pretty good job of leveling it out, laying it back flat. <clears throat> I do have a problem underneath the hood where I masked um, the paper touched the fresh clear and so the cowl down there is kind of messed up and I'll have to come back later and deal with that but I'm not at all concerned about that. I'm thrilled that I finally got this thing painted without chaos. This area here on the back of the roof was just the worst um, because after the initial paint job with the fish eyes and all that stuff I came and tried to sand it out. Well I sanded through the layers of clear into the base and I got to tell you every time I tried to put paint over this it kept reacting to the outer edge of that feathered edge there it was up there and it was over here on the side I'm telling you man lots of dry coats followed by scuffing it down wiping it clean another dry coat I kept chasing this I finally got it and uh, well it's a big improvement over the initial paint job <clears throat> So I'm gonna call it a night. It's about, I think, after one in the morning right now. I've got four good wet coats of clear on this thing, enough to hopefully color sand all the trash and fish eyes and whatever, and buff this thing out to a very high gloss. It's looking amazing. It's the best it's ever looked, I gotta tell you. Um, oh, earlier, I think on my first coat, after my first coat, I, accidentally dipped my air hose into the paint. So I dragged a streak across there that I had to come back and color sand that out and repaint it. But yeah, I think right now the biggest, the biggest obstacles are maybe just a few sags here and there, but I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm actually very excited. I'm very stoked. This thing laid down pretty, pretty uh, nice and clean. It's very little orange peel, at least it seems. Um, I'm happy with my little homemade booth and I did it myself at home. So I'm gonna call it a night, come back and check it in the morning. All right, folks, here's the morning after. Pulled the car outside this afternoon, let it sit in the sun for a few hours. Let's have a look. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this episode. So my next immediate plans are to let the car continue curing out and drying, and then I will try to address the runs and the nibs and stuff like that. I'm gonna color sand the entire car, probably starting with, uh, well, of course, the, the rough areas, I'll have to, to, to do those maybe in four, 600 grit to knock the runs down. The uh, general paint will be probably a thousand grit, something like that, followed by a finer grit, 15 or 2000 grit perhaps, and then a buffing. Um, I'm also going to uh, touch up some of the areas that I dinged uh, in the interior, the charcoal gray parts and uh, some of the door panel and the dash here. I'm gonna respray those. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the grill inserts and the vents of the hood here, along with the trunk recess panel right back there. This area right there, I'm gonna paint that gray as well. And maybe even throw a little silver border around it or something like that. Um, so those are the plans for the paint. Of course, once I get all of that done, you know, the car's still gonna be reassembled. I gotta put interior wiring, plumbing. I've gotta put half the engine back in there. The whole induction and turbo system and exhaust are, are off the car. I mean, a lot of work to do yet. So, uh, but I gotta tell you right now, this feels really good. It's a wonderful checkpoint seeing the car in color. And this time, fingers crossed, I feel good enough where I've got enough of a foundation on the car where I don't have to redo anything, fingers crossed. Hopefully I can fix it all in the cut and buff. So that's it right now. I'm two years uh, and change into this project. Didn't think it would take this long, but you know, that's the way life is sometimes when you're making plans. So until the next episode, uh, happy holidays to you all. And I hope this inspires you all in some way with your projects. Take care.